Hi, it's Ted from Think Tank. I'm here with your tech tip for the day. Today I'm going to show you how to put a tripod onto one of our rollers. In this case, this is our Airport Security V 3.0, brand new, and it's set up much the same as many of our other rollers as far as the tripod mount is concerned. So you see on the side here, there's a little tripod icon, and in between, and in there, you can stick your finger in there, that's an open loop. And each of, each of the rollers comes with a set of straps. It has a tripod cup and two separate straps. You take the strap that has the hook and loop on the back side here, and all you gotta do is slide it through that webbing loop, and there's the matching hook and loop on the inside. You can hear that stick, and it sticks in there really nice just like that, so it stays put, and you can just leave it like that. Then you take your tripod, and you take two of the legs, and stick them down into this, this elastic uh, pocket right here so that they're nice and secured in there. And then you just turn this around, wrap the strap around the neck of the tripod. It's got a lock, locking gatekeeper right here. You can just cinch that down, lock it up, and then do something handy with these straps and get them out of your way. Now, you take the second strap, which has these double gatekeepers on it, and you stick those into these webbing loops down here at the bottom by the pocket. So let's, let me show you a little detail on how to actually attach the double gatekeeper. You'll see here there's a little bit, there's a little gate that's a, on a swivel right there. Just stick the gatekeeper down into the webbing loop and switch that gate over and just give it a little pinch. That plastic will bend and you just lock the gate into the little piece right there. There's a little uh, lip right there that it locks into. So it's nice and secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Slide those in, and the method is the same. Just cinch it up real tight, close the lock, and get rid of your straps, and you're nice and secure. Good to go, good to roll through the airport, onto your uh, chute or wherever you're going. Now, if you have a larger tripod, like this big guy, that's where the tripod cup comes, comes in handy. So I'm just going to take this off here and reinstall it. Leave that hanging. Leave my gatekeeper hanging. And the method is similar. What you're going to do is you're going to take the strap, or the, the cup. It's got this long strap on it. You'll see this buckle right here. You thread up through the buckle. Set the desired depth. And this just gets a little bit tricky to do backwards like this, but essentially you're going to weave this through, and then to be safe, I like to tuck it back down and run it through again so that it goes down and it's nice and secure like that. It's going to hold a little bit more weight. Now I just take my tripod, stick the legs down in the cup. I can wrap this again around the tripod. Tighten it up real good. Lock it down. Now let's take care of these legs. Give myself a little bit more slack. Lock that down real good. Tuck away my excess straps, and that's nice and secure like that. Again, off to your chute. It's gonna stay in place, nice and secure. So that's your tripod attachment. Thanks for watching.